So the Medieval Fair starts tomorrow, and for some odd reason they've decided to include a steampunk theme, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna meet at least one doctor tomorrow. So this is my outfit. Yeah, we're looking in the mirror because I don't have a place to put my tripod that's far enough away. So I've got my yarn hair thingies, I don't even know what they're called. Bodice, a black and red striped mesh tank top. Mesh. Red and black lace belt and my black tutu with black shorts underneath, as usual. See through. Red and black striped thigh-high Ren Faire socks and knee-high boots, which I got at the thrift store for like five dollars. I also have these, which I would love to wear tomorrow because they look awesome with this, but I don't want to get them all dirty running around in the mud at the fair, so I'll have to save these for another time. I wanted to make some more... oh, and then I have this chain choker. I wanted to make some more jewelry and things to wear this weekend, but didn't have the time, so we'll just do without, whatevs. Anyway, I just thought I would throw this video in here on the channel because I have some other videos that are ready to be uploaded, like something that I did on the 5th of July this past Tuesday while I was recording my Pagan Perspective video. I did a little bonus video on something else that I like to do, which I was going to upload at the same time, but I had to upload the 4th of July video and the Around the House video, so I didn't get to it yet. So I still have that bonus video to put up and also a t-shirt reconstruction video that I did when I was still in school. I did it back in May and I haven't put it up yet. It's very quick, so. But I just thought, man, I've put a lot of like daily vlogs up and not a lot of me just talking to the camera and I need some of that. So I mean, here you go. So this one is actually happening Friday night and it's gonna be on time, so yeah, because Saturday and Sunday is the first weekend of the Medieval Fair. Anyway, while I'm in this, whoo, I almost fell over. Vlogging in heels. Can you even see me? I'm normally at the bottom part of the frame and now I'm in heels. While I'm wearing this, I just wanted to talk about the fact that a lot of my wardrobe actually looks like this. I have, or at least I have a lot of wardrobe pieces that are things like this, because I would really like to and would dress like this every day of my life if I were not such a freeze baby and lazy. Because at school, if it's too cold, I don't wear skirts and things. Sometimes I do, but I have to like really be in the mood for it because it also is a problem because they don't have pockets and I like to have my phone and my camera and other things in my pockets. So it really takes a lot for me to feel like, yeah, I want to wear a skirt or a dress to class today. All right, let's do that. Most of the time I just don't. And I wake up like five minutes before class and I just put on jeans and a t-shirt and I go and like this takes a little bit more time to get ready. And then especially if I want to put on makeup and maybe put in my contacts, I don't know if I'm going to do that tomorrow or not because I haven't worn contacts in so long and we're going to be there for hours. So I'll probably do makeup but still wear my glasses. And I know that kind of detracts from the look, but I'm lazy. There are also different things on the shelves this time. Books that I'm borrowing from people and like bottles of elemental things and yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff. It's been a lot of things happening. The other Bible and Edith Hamilton's mythology, so that's nice. But yeah, so doubtless I will be vlogging at the Medieval Fair, so you guys will probably see more stuff from that, but I thought I would just do a do a talky thing for you. And also, do you guys remember when I used to start almost every video with thank you to my new subscribers? I haven't done that in a really long time and I feel badly because I have a lot more subscribers now than I did, I don't know, during the school year even, or like even then a month ago. I keep, there's more of you. So thank you. Thank you for subscribing. I do still thank you, even though now there are so many of you that I don't go to all of your channels individually anymore. It's just gotten to be too much of, so hi, thank you for being here. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, click up there to do so. If you are a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying your life and this video. I've also been wondering how many subscribers I would have by now if I never went through and deleted the closed accounts because after, like the last time I did this was a, a month ago maybe, I go through all of the subscribers and if any of them have deleted their accounts and it doesn't unsubscribe you from people when you delete your account, it still stays there on their subscriber count. I delete those so that I know how many subscribers I actually have that are at least active accounts on YouTube. Whether or not they watch all of my videos, at least I know they're actually 
an active account so there's more of a chance that they're actually watching. If I didn't remove all of those deleted accounts throughout the past two years or however long I've been vlogging, I don't even know, I would probably have over 4,000 subscribers by now easily. So part of me is like, shoot, why didn't you do that? Because you would have such a bigger number now, but then the other part of me is like, no, it's better to know who's actually watching your videos and not having fake numbers and but I know that from now on I'm probably not gonna delete them all because there are just too many. It took me hours last time so I mean like I don't have a personal assistant. I'm doing all of this stuff on my own so I'm just saying and I was just talking about how lazy I am and yet all of these silly things that I do on the computer that take me forever and like all day and like I should be doing other things that are more important but I do them anyway. Breathe. So yeah, we're going to the medieval fair tomorrow, and the medieval fair season is underway. And, uh, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I love you, and I'm just going through the things that I need to say right now. I think that's about it. I really feel like you can't see me, because I'm not, like, on eye level with the camera, but you- it's probably fine. I don't know. And hey, since this is one where I'm actually talking to you, let's do some comment and spread the love time. So here we go. In a weird way, I appreciate comments like this. I do, but they are really awkward, just so you know. And then there are the awesome compliments like this that just make me go, what? Okay, thank you. Random comments, random comments, random comments, random comments, random comments. Okay. And this is the part of the video before we leave where we spread some love to awesome people who deserve it. This is your assignment. Click on any one of these spotlight annotations on the screen and it will take you to someone's channel who is awesome and deserving of some love. When you get there, leave them some love in a comment. It can be anything. It can be small love, it can be big love, it can be personal love if you know who they are or if you check out some of their videos and decide you actually like them. But no no matter what, if you have something bad to say, you don't say it, okay? This is an exercise in self-control and really saying what you mean and meaning what you say and not being a dick. I'm trusting you. Leave love or get out. Just, just go. Just leave. Just go home. But I mean, if you don't like it, you still watched this video, so still added to my view count. Just saying. All right, I'll see you guys later. I love you all. Blessed be all that other good stuff. See you when I see you. Peace. And this is my hair after I just took out those ponytail things. It's like, wah! Do I look witchy yet? How about now?